Hi, I'm Dave Wallach, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, and you know from my Facebook page to my website, I constantly get the question of what lines do you use for what applications? And I'm with Sunline, and I've used Sunline products for about five years, and it's, and it's really high quality line, and I got to learn what lines to use for what applications, and you know, this is all going to be my opinion, but this is what I use. And I'm going to start with the lightest and work my way up to the heaviest and have some other ones mixed in there like braid as well. But uh, this, is, this is Shooter Invisible. It's a, uh, the six pound test shooter invisible I use for really light drop shot applications or a fish are on beds and they're really finicky because it has that different color coding to it and it kind of breaks up the light better. Um, that's what I use the shooter invisible for. It, it higher pound test but the six pound test is the one that I use primarily. The eight and ten pound sniper, uh, most drop shot shaky head applications, real light line stuff. It's a, it's a fluorocarbon, it's a high quality fluorocarbon but it's a very limp castable fluorocarbon uh, and, I, and I put it on spinning rods, I put it on bait casters, especially when I get to the 12 pound test, the 12 pound test sniper I crank with all the time as well and the 10 as well and uh, it's just very castable even on a bait caster or spinning rod um, and I use it for like I said uh, the shaky head or drop shot applications as well depending on how big the fish are. If I'm on a place where I feel I'm going to potential to have a 6 pound smallmouth I'll go up to the 10 pound test and drop shot but usually I, I drop shot with the 8. Um, Getting into the a little bit higher uh, pound test fluorocarbons like the FC Sniper 14 pound test, I use this for uh, 10 inch worms, um, uh, big football head jigs offshore, things like where I'm fishing ledges. It's again very castable, but the 14 pound test gives me that extra pound test capable of catching you know, a 22 to 25 pound sack at a Kentucky Lake or Gunnersville. Um, 16 pound test shooter, I use the 16 pound test shooter for swim baits. Uh, any of your money minnows, your bigger your swim baits, the 16 or 20 shooter. Um, the shooter is I, I, I found to be not as castable but in the higher pound test it has a lot of good applications uh, in terms of abrasion resistance and things like that as, as well as flipping. I use it for swim baits and I use it for flipping. I use a, uh, the 20 pound test shooter you know you see Tommy Biffle he flips with that a lot as well. Um, uh, anytime I flip with a higher pound test fluorocarbon I do it usually around wood. Uh, I don't use braid around wood as much because the braid will cut into the wood. Um, and, and when I go to uh, a flipping fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon again has the quality of being has having less stretch and uh, uh, less abrasion resistance as a monofilament would. A um, couple different monofilament uh, pound tests. The 11 pound shooter defier is a is a copolymer mo copolymer monofilament, uh, high quality uh, line by Sunline. This 11 pound test I use for if I'm making really long casts with a spinning rod. This is a super limp and castable line. I mean, probably the most limp you're going to ever be able to cast. So if I'm uh, casting even a shaky head or a drop shot or whatever, and, and long casts are a factor, and uh, having that ability to just kind of flick your wrist and have it shoot right off the spool, this is the, the, the line that I use. Um, 17 pound test monofilament, uh, this shooter to fire, I use for some top water applications. And even, you know, some of the other ones, they have a 13 and a 15 as well, I use for lighter top waters. Monofilament floats, so I use it for top waters, especially the smaller top water baits. When I get into the heavier top water baits, I use braid, and I use lighter braid. This is their braid, I use this 24 pound test when I'm using uh, uh, bigger top waters. And the reason I use braid is, I think on long casts, I could get that hook set into them and then I just back the drag off and, uh, and play them a little bit better because you don't want to rip their mouths when you're using braid, especially with treble hooks. This is a 56 pound braid, you know, your standard flipping mats type of thing. I go uh, right through the whole gamut of the, the, the different type of, of flipping procedures that I would do with, with braided line and I get up into the higher 56 pound braid is what I uh, primarily use with those. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you're out there and you, I mean, I didn't cover every single thing, but um, if you just know the basic qualities of different lines like monofilament floats and, you know, use it for some top waters, and then you just get a little groove going with your lines. I, I carry, this is all I really carry. These are the different lines that I carry and I use them for the whole uh, gamut of applications around the whole country.